Hello there, every pony. So I'm going to be in this video going through pictures of the Autumn Show Among Friends Model Horse Show and mostly showing you my placings, but I'll be showing you some other pictures as well that are on here. And yeah, I'm really excited to show all my placings and stuff because I did surprisingly really well. It was awesome. So this is a new kind of video thing I'm doing, by the way. What I'm doing is I'm actually projecting the pictures and talking about them, kind of like a commentary sort of deal and recording that. Not sure how well it's going to turn out, but um, hopefully it comes out good because this is a lot easier than trying to record a thing and then insert the videos, I mean insert the pictures to match my voice when I'm talking about it and stuff. So we'll see how this goes um, and hopefully my microphone doesn't sound too weird or anything. Because I know my microphone is terrible, I really need a new one. Um, I might try and get one soon once I get some more funds and such. But yeah, first on this first picture you can see my table and whoop, here's my cursor. I don't know if you can see it that well or not, but this was my two tables at the show and it was awesome having two tables. I was like, yes, thank you, having two tables is the best. And so um, onto the placings because I believe the next picture is a placing. Yes, it is. So my first placing of the day, I believe this was my first. Hold on, I'm going to be looking. No, this is not my first placing. Actually, the next couple pictures should be my first placing. This is the second placing of the day. This is um, Tasmanian Knight, a.k.a. Uh, Briar Fest 2011 Special Run Jasmine. And I was super surprised that she placed first for me in an Arabian class. And Arabian classes are always usually pretty big and competitive and such. So I was so happy to see this and I was like, oh my goodness, she placed first. How is this possible? And so I was really happy about that. And yeah, I'm super happy about that. That was awesome. I'm uh, glad, really glad that I bought, uh, brought her and everything. Because a lot, some of the models that placed, I was thinking about not bringing them. I didn't want my show string to be too big and stuff so um, a lot of them I'm really glad they that I brought them because they ended up doing really well so that is her and then this guy was actually my first placing of the day that I was super duper happy about if you don't uh, it's kind of hard to see in the picture this is Ganache from Briarfest 2015 special run and he got a second place with a NAN card so I was super happy about that. Obviously, it was in like the first time to show him. And I was like, yay, he placed. And this just goes to show, too, that um, I know sometimes people will say, oh, don't show this mold because it's not uh, correct. And while it might not be entirely correct, some judges know that they, overall, you know, it's like you can't really do much about it with OF prior and stuff. And they just kind of don't really... Um, worry about that too much and so yeah he plays still super happy about that and he's just gorgeous and then you'll see actually him again later on in the video and here's my table again um from a different point of view this was the point of view where i was like sitting and writing everything down and such and you may notice there's like white patches or really just kind of sloppily colored in uh things so you can't see uh breed documentations and breeds and um different things like that so um yeah that's because some of my breeds and stuff I literally spend hours researching them and trying to figure them out so I don't like to just give them away very easily <laughs> sorry about that guys um but yeah there's my table and um yeah I guess that's all I really have to say about that my two placings were over here I had horses lined up there um and yeah, that's how I set up my table at a show usually. I try to have a good area where I can put horses down and have my class list and everything out and everything. So the next guy that placed was my little Morgan guy who is super duper adorable. He placed at the last show I went to also and I believe he got a third. He must have gotten a third because I think the last show I went to was not the mini show but like the last like OF Briar show I went to. I believe they only placed them from one to third. So um, yeah, he placed at this show too, and that was cool. There's another picture of him. He's really gorgeous, I love his coloring. 
Another one, I was like, oh my gosh, what was this guy? This is All Glory. He is the Briarfest 2010 Celebration model. I got him actually in a Briar grab bag um, last year. And he, I think he placed at the last show I went to also, but I don't remember if he got like a second or third. But anyway, I was really shocked that he got a first because there were some several other um, models in his class that I thought were really pretty and stuff. I was like, oh, those models are totally gonna win. And so I was shocked that he got first and the judge said that she just really loved his coloring and his shading. So I was like, yeah, he got a first. And so I'm super happy about that. He is a really, really pretty boy. And also I did not trust my models this time at the show for some reason. Even though like he can stand, I could have probably worked with him and got him to stand or like done sticky wax or whatever. But a lot of my models, I was like, nope, I don't trust you. You are laying down on the table. But, um, yeah, super happy about that. And then this girl, oh my goodness, she got a third. So happy. This is um, Elvis Presley's bear. I don't remember how many were in class. Probably a couple, though. I know I think the Bluegrass, ba Bluegrass Bandit in her class won, which is not surprising because Bluegrass Bandit, of course, is gorgeous coloring dapples and such. But I was super happy that this girl got a third, and that was also just super duper exciting and awesome. And here we have my gorgeous, glossy, saddlebred guy. Uh, Blue Note is his regular run name, I think. Anyway, um, I'm happy he placed. Uh, I wish he would have placed higher, actually. I don't remember how many were in his class. But I was a little disappointed. He didn't place a little bit higher, but I'm still happy he placed. He is super gorgeous. And he didn't place it. He would have placed actually first at the last show I went to, but he had like some smudges on his back from like the price tag sticker when I bought him and I didn't clean it off all the way. So unfortunately that cost him his um, chance to get first place in the last show. But I'm happy he at least um, got some sort of placing because he is super gorgeous and I think he deserves it. Now this is one of my ones I was super duper excited about getting first. This is Hot Couture and uh, Briarfest, he's the Briarfest 2015 special run. And he got first, and I was so happy because I, ah, I was so happy. I spent forever searching up what uh, breed to have him as, and, and that paid off because he got first, and I'm so happy. And I'm just super, super excited about that. He is so gorgeous, and I'm just so happy that I got first. He did not go up um, any higher to get a um, champion or reserve champion, but. I don't mind because he is really gorgeous and he deserved getting the first place in the card and all that. So he was one I was just super duper happy about. Oh, and there's another picture of him. And another picture of him. Look at his face. He's so cute. And then um, this was the callbacks for one of the divisions. I guess it was the library division. And so, yeah, that's most of the table. There was a couple other models. But uh, yeah, pretty big callback section. And then my Jasmine was right there. And then my Hot Couture. And then my um, Ganache was over on the other side of the table. But uh, yeah, you can see there's some pretty, really pretty models up here. Just to show before I go on to the next pictures. Um, yeah, some gorgeous, gorgeous models going on. Nope, and there's my um, Jasmine. And then there's my bleh, All Glory and Ganache. And then there's Ganache with his reserve championship in the Lightbreeds division. I was so happy. Oh my goodness. I was like, oh, I can't believe it. It was my first um, bigger, bigger placing of the day. And it was super exciting. I'm so happy he did good. And that was just awesome. So, yeah, and I can't believe he got that out of all the um, other ones. I don't know which model got the... I'm going to go back here. Ooh, okay. I don't know which model got the champion out of the class, actually. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't know if I was there, like, when it was still up there with... I don't know which model got first champion thing. It might have been this 
classic almost, I want to say. I don't know why, but I'm not sure what it was. But yeah, that was the Light Breeds Division, and I'm so happy my, my boy got reserve. And then here we have this guy who I love so much, and he is placed pretty well before actually in the past. This is a uh, Lavendardo, I think is how you say his name, something like that. And he ended up getting a first in his class, and I was so happy about that. I was like, yes. And um, he's gorgeous. Like, pictures don't even do this guy justice because his like, coat is all kind of sparkly almost. But, um, like, kind of shimmery, but it's hard to explain. He's really gorgeous, though. And I felt like he really deserved to get uh, first and stuff. So I was super happy about that as well. It was so exciting. And then we have my beautiful water guy. And this is kind of another example uh, recently on like a form thing. People were saying not to show this model because he doesn't really have a breed that you can show him as and that he's wonky or whatever, you know. But this just goes to show, hey, if you really want to show a model, you found a breed that works for it, do it. And he's placed before for me. He placed second in the last show, I think, as well. He does really, really well for me, actually, um, for what I show him under, and I'm not telling you what that is. But, uh, yeah, I was super happy that he um, uh, placed again and stuff, and, yeah, that was awesome. He is gorgeous. There's another picture of him. You can see he has really pretty dapples. Oh, and uh, this guy, I don't think he placed before, so this was his first placing I was super happy about. This is Picasso, and he got a third, which I was really pleased about, because he is also a really pretty boy. He actually has really nice masking and um, markings and stuff, too. So, he's another one. I was like, yay! Placings, yay! And this, I believe, was the class he was in. I'm not entirely sure. But, as you can see, I think the two-step got first, and then the foundation stallion there got fifth. And I'm now really tempted to show my foundation stallions, because they, there's one that actually did well at the last show I went to also as well that wasn't the mini show. So I'm really tempted now to hopefully maybe get a nice foundation stallion model to show. Anyway, moving on. Another pretty boy. I love this guy. He does really well for me as well. Another pretty boy. I love this guy. He also does well for me. And I'm happy he got a fourth. I wish he would have gotten higher. But, um, oh well. Actually, one of my other models placed higher, so that makes up for that. <laughs> this guy, the beautiful Arab blah 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 blah, whatever his name is. He happened to get a second in his class, and so that was super awesome. And I think he got a third, or maybe a second in the last class, last time I showed him, I don't know. But um, he's done well for me so far, which is great. He is just stunningly gorgeous. And then this guy, oh, it's my wish upon a star. He is my baby boy, I love him so much. I got him at Briarfest 2011, he's a special run. And I'm so glad he finally, finally placed. I've been showing this guy for ever since I got him. And I first did not like show him as the right breed the first time I showed him. And then I, for a long time, I just haven't been showing him, I guess, as a great breed. I haven't had like good references. So this time I was like, no, this time I'm gonna prime the perfect breed for him. I'm gonna have good references. And then it totally paid off because then he got a second and a NAN card. Finally, yes, because he is so gorgeous. He is perfect and oh, I love him so much. I was so happy he's finally placed. And here we have the custom class thing, which and this was like the first custom I showed. My custom is this guy on the far right. And I was a little sad he didn't place higher. And I don't know if maybe it's just because I don't have quite the right breed for it. I'm guessing that might be the reason why. I'm gonna be showing him again in a couple weeks and I will change his breed and hopefully that will make him show a little bit better maybe. I don't know, we'll see. Cause he's like really nice I think, like overall just his shading and coloring and everything. 
So yeah, sadly, um, there were only five horses in the class and he got fifth, but oh well. You can see um, there's the rest of the class. The PS uh, Weanlings got first and second and the little guys there got uh, those placings. And that little guy actually is um, Dots a Dollar, I think is her YouTube name. Yeah, that's her little guy. And this one, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, let's just talk about this for a second. This is Hera, my web special goddess horse from last year or whenever I got her. I don't know. I was actually, um, I bought her directly from Briar. I was fortunately picked and she is one of the few web specials that I bought directly from Briar and stuff. And actually, is she the only one? She might be the only web special I bought. Like, that's the one, the gambling one that you enter to get in or whatever. I mean, that, whatever. Anyway. I'm so, so happy she placed. I showed her at the last show and she didn't place, which I was really bummed about. So this time I actually got a reference made up for her because before I didn't have time to make a nice reference for her. This time I made a really nice reference for her. And so she got first and I'm so incredibly happy about that. That was just super duper awesome. And did she get anything higher than that? Yeah, she did. Okay. um. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. Not right now. But, oh, there's another picture of her. She's so gorgeous. That's another thing is I'm like, but I like felt like I had to show her and stuff because she is perfect. Her markings are so crisp. Her coloring, everything is just so gorgeous and perfect about her. And then this pretty boy is my Britian model. And he has placed before, I think, I'm trying to remember. He hasn't gotten like, I. Uh, I don't think he's in Dan before. Has he? I don't think he has. I don't know. I have to look back in my things, but I was so happy that he got a first. Another guy who placed first is my Gutsen van Tikosen. This is actually his second first place. He got first in the last show as well. So I'm super proud of him. I am always shocked that he places so well, but it's awesome. I'm so happy about it. And there's another picture of him. This guy is one that I'm uh, trying to remember if he's really placed for me before. I almost want to say he's never placed before for, for me before, and I've showed him for several years now. And I've shown him as like the same breed too, with the same reference, and I think he looks perfect for the breed and the reference and everything. And yet he like hardly ever places for some really weird reason, and he's also kind of a rare model, so I never understand why he doesn't place better. But he got a second, and I'm so happy about that. He actually placed over my, um, which you can kind of see in the picture here. He actually placed over my glossy Perlano uh, Quille, Quill Surprise, whatever, special round model. Which was surprising to me, because I thought he was going to place over him. But yeah, so this guy finally got a really good placing, and I'm really happy about that. And then there's my Quilly surprise model, you can see there. And then there's another picture of my horsey that got second place and I'm so proud of him. So you can see he's just got gorgeous shading on him. He is so pretty. Here we have my custom Indian pony that I got at Briar Fest. This is the first time me showing him. And I was a little disappointed that he didn't get a little bit higher placing, but I'm happy he at least got a fourth because he is just so pretty in my eyes. I love him so much. He is a custom by Patty Miller in 1998, so he is actually kind of an almost vintage custom, although not quite yet. But yeah, he's super pretty. I'm really happy that he at least placed. So that was really cool. This is Enchante. He is the Briarfest 2015 special run. Also his first time showing, and so I was really, really glad that he got a third here, as you can see. And yeah, that was super awesome. And I was also a little bit doubtful if his breed was gonna be really good for him or not. But um, apparently it was just fine because he got a third, and that is so awesome. And then there's another picture of him, so you can kind of see him a little better. So you can see he is really pretty. His masking is so crisp, and his coloring is just gorgeous. I love this model. Another one of my models that placed is my beautiful uh, Once Upon a Time 
I believe that's his name. Yes, uh, Glossy Once Upon a Time. He's done really well in the past as a kind, not kind of the same breed, but kind of different in a way. I don't know how to explain it without giving away what I show him as. But um, I've shown him before as a certain breed and he's placed a lot, but then I found out that that breed I showed him as is not actually quite right. It's hard to explain, but anyway, I have to kind of switch his breed because some judges uh, won't place really models as well if they don't are, spe are more specific about what their breed is and stuff. But um, so he's done well for me in the past, and um, so I'm happy he placed at least. Um, yeah, I'm always happy when he places because he is so gorgeous. And yeah, this is just a picture of my table my dad actually took. He was just like fooling around with the camera and just was taking pictures of my table kind of. And that was another one. I don't really know what he was trying, which, which particular horse he was trying to focus the camera on, but yeah, this one came out a little better. But yeah, anyway. And then look at this, what? Hera got a reserve champion in the sports breeds class for division, I mean, and I am so, so happy about that. I was just so excited. I was like, yes, my beautiful girl, she finally got the placings I feel like she deserved to get because she has not placed before. And so like I said, I was just super excited. I am so, so happy she placed a reserve champion yeah, I was just beyond, I'm just beyond excited about that. It makes me so happy. And then, oh, there's another picture of her with the flash on, so you can kind of see her coloring a little bit better. And yeah, she's just so gorgeous, so happy. And then there's another picture of her. I took a lot of pictures because I was like, needing to take, make sure I got documents of my models and their placings and stuff. But yeah, it's her and she's all pretty, I'm so happy. And so this handsome fella, who is Argyle, uh, this is also his first time showing. So I was really happy that he got a fourth. So that was really cool. I will probably keep showing him then and see if maybe he does a little better or not. He may not, but um, either way, I was just super happy that he placed. And then this girl I was super duper shocked about. This is Versailles, the Briarfest 2015 special run. And I was not even gonna bring her. I kind of, sort of last minute was just like, you know what, I'm gonna bring her because I'm bringing like almost all my Briarfest special run models to show. And I believe they all placed, I'm trying to remember, but I think most, at least most of them, uh, the new Briarfest special runs, I think most of them placed, which is super awesome. If not all of them, I can't remember off the top of my head right now. But. Yeah, I was so, so shocked that she placed, and there was another Versailles in her class too, so I was just like, so, so shocked. I was like, oh my gosh, really? She placed? And then I was gonna be even more shocked later on, but you'll see that in a few minutes. And then there's another picture of her, so you can see her better. I will say, I think uh, my Versailles has some of the prettiest shading, and her dapples are really nice, because they're not too fish scaly, and, um, like the shading on her back is just gorgeous. I've seen some other ones and it's like they don't have any shading on their backs. But she has just really dark shading on her back, which you can't really see in this angle, but you will see in another picture. And there's another picture of her. And then here in another class. Uh, that's actually not her in the background there. That's a different one, but that one has really nice uh, dark shading on its back too. My glossy, glossy boy that I love so much. This is my glossy Simba. I am so, so happy that he got a first. I was, honestly, I, I was gonna be sad if he didn't place at anything. So I was really, really happy that he placed a first. I said, yes, you deserve this boy, my beautiful baby. So I was so happy about that and just so exuberant about that. Not only that, but like in the same class, my um, Gwen, Gwenlyn's great lucky lady, whatever her name is, she also got a second, and I'm surprised that she keeps doing really well for me in shows, actually, so I'm gonna probably keep showing her. She does really well. Um, yeah, and she got a second, so that was super awesome. I was super happy about both of them uh, placing in the class like that. And there's another picture of them. And then in a different class, my uh, glossy autumn shimmer. Yes, she's actually the first Wixom 
I got. And I got her recently too, and so this is also her first time showing her. And I was happy she got a third in her class, and you can see the other two that got um, a first and a second. So the first, the one that got a first was actually a different um, autumn shimmer. And then the one that got a second was one of those, um, I don't know what the name is, but one of those really pretty. Maybe the Pas Passage to the Pacific model, maybe? I don't know if that is what that one is. It might be a different one. I'm not sure at the moment. But yeah, I was super glad that she got a third in her class. And then my other drafty boy placed, which is Winter, and he got a fourth, which was awesome, I thought. He doesn't usually place super high, but he does uh, tend to get like a fourth or a third whenever I show him. So that was really cool. And then, bum ba da da <gasps> My glossy Simba got what? Reserve Championship? <gasps> yes, I am so, so happy about this. Ah, I was just so excited because he's like one of the one of the few models where it's just like I really want them to do well. Most of the time, like a lot of my models, I'm like, oh, I'll show you, and if you do well, you do well. If you don't, oh well. But he was one of the ones I was like, first time showing you, I really, really want you to do well for this time. And he did, and I was so excited and happy. Oh my goodness. So I'm super, super, super happy about that. And yeah, I'm just so beyond excited that he got reserve champion. And this um, is actually one of the shows I've not gotten so many reserve and champion division championships for models that weren't minis. So this is this was an awesome show. I'm just so happy with the results of it and stuff. And then look who got champion in the division. <gasps> what? It's my first high. Oh my goodness! I just couldn't even believe it. I was like so shocked because I wasn't I wasn't even gonna bring her at first. So I was so beyond shocked and happy to see that she got champion and that was just beyond awesome. I still can't believe it that the judge liked her so much. And like here I was at home being like, eh, I don't know if I should bring her. She has this teeny tiny little flaw here and blah, blah, blah. And so I'm so glad I just ended up showing her because she got champion and uh, first place and then uh, division champion. And then there's both of them right there, my two glossy babies. That one won the division, so very surprisingly, sitting there together, which is awesome. And there's a picture of glossy Simba, and then there's a picture of her, and then like the placing, yeah. So that was just so awesome. Still so excited about that. Now this is my little um, tiny custom stable mate that got a reserve uh, not a reserve, a champion last year, or last show I went to in uh, the mini division for custom, and that was really exciting, so I was hoping she was going to do well in this, but I didn't really expect it since this was, um, you'll see in a second here, um, there's another little mini, this one's not mine, I just thought it was cute, so I took a picture, and then, because uh, these ones are the one, this uh, custom class had like all the models, they weren't split mini and traditional and such, so... She was up against uh, this pretty Arabian Peter Stone custom, so it's kind of hard to expect her to place really well. Um, I don't remember what placing she got. I do have a picture of it, I believe, so you'll see in a minute whatever she got. Here is the quarter horse class. Now, I don't know if the judge uh, ended up splitting this class or not. She might have split it into mares and geldings or mares and stallions or whatever. Um, she may have done that. I don't actually know if she split it up or not, but I'm really excited because one of my horses placed in it. Ba -ba -da -ba. My Rushmore got a first in the class and I was so, so happy. I was like, yes, again, my Rushmore places. And then right next to him was Constellation. And these are my two little, little golden horses. Um, they usually will not both place. Only one of them will usually place whenever I show them, but whichever one does usually places really, really high. So I'm so happy that um, Marshmallow got a first. That was super duper awesome. And then there's another picture of him. And then this isn't my horse. I just thought it was pretty, so took a picture of it. I believe this is um, Ivy League, the connoisseur, I believe. But yeah, someone had him. I was like, oh my gosh, there's a connoisseur. Look how pretty. <laughs> Oh, and there's my little custom Arabian I was just talking about. So she ended up getting a fourth in her class, 
which um, it's not terrible, so I'm like not super disappointed or anything, but um, yeah, it was still good for her. Um, yeah. And this was another placing. I was like, oh my gosh, really? This is um, ugh, Champagne Toast. I also got him as a Briar Crab Bag course last year. And uh, he placed second in the last show. And this time he got first. I was so excited and happy. I was like, oh my goodness, really? He placed first? I think he placed over that um, horse that's across from him. I believe that horse was in the same class. I'm not sure. The Platinum Star, is that his name? Yeah. So I was just really shocked and happy that he placed. That was super awesome that he got first. And then there's another picture of him. And then this was a one of the classes for the customs. The reason I took a picture beforehand is I wanted to see how many horses were in this class. And as you can see, there was like one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, there might have been one more actually in there as well. I don't know. But there's a reason why I did that. And you're about to find out. And so there were just other customs in there. Those two are really pretty. So you can probably already tell. And then that is my boy. That is um, the Alboroso custom I bought for my birthday. And as you can see by the amount of pictures I took of him, I just adore him to death. I love him. He is the most I've ever spent on a model horse. And he is just so gorgeous. I love him so much. And yeah, again, more pictures of him because I just love him. I actually don't have that many pictures of him and stuff. I gotta take better pictures of all my models eventually. But yeah, so I was like, okay, I don't know if he's gonna do well or not, but I really hope he does at least okay because I just adore him so much. And then there's another picture of him. That's actually a little bit more true to his coloring. Some of these other ones I accidentally kind of brightened up a little bit too much because um, they were really dark originally and anyway, yeah. Da, 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 da. He got a second. Oh my goodness. I was so, so happy. I was oh, freaking out a little bit because I was like, ah, he got a second. Out of all those other horses too, like those other two really pretty guys. Um, I don't know which one got first, but I was just so shocked and so happy that he got a second. I was like, yes, my pretty baby. So I am super duper, duper, super duper, so happy that he plays second. I can't even. I'm just so, so happy about that. And then here I have Pop the Cork, um, my Matt Pop the Cork guy, who I'm in love with as well. He did not place at the last show, so I was kind of disappointed that he didn't. So I was happy that he got a fifth this time, so that was really cool, because I think he is so gorgeous and perfect in his shading and coloring and everything. It's just so amazing. So um, I'm happy he got what he got. There were some really pretty other um, models in the class that he was in so yeah i am super happy about that and there's another picture of him now this is not my horse i just thought this horse was so gorgeous i had to take pictures of it uh, this is some sort of artist resin i don't really know i'm not super knowledgeable on artist resins all i know is this guy's coloring and everything about him was just stunning so i was like ah this is one of the few artist resins i was like oh my goodness i wish i had this horse and there is his face. Look at that eye. Oh my gosh, that is so amazing. So incredibly amazing paint job on that horse. Oh, so stunning. And then this was another pretty artist, re artist resin. This one might have actually gotten like an overall of some sort, I think. I'm not really sure. But this one I know did really well in the show. And that one was really pretty too. Oh my goodness. And then there's another pretty Appaloosa one. And then there's, um, I've seen this one at different shows before actually. He's really gorgeous as well. Another really, really pretty artist resin. That guy was also pretty. I just had to take a picture of him also. Another pretty one. And then that other one that I just showed from the other side. Also pretty. Now, um, here is my Nakoda. He actually got a first in the last show. Um, and then this time he got a fifth, which is cool. I'm happy he placed. My Canarita actually did not place at all this time. And my Canarita has placed, um, as a reserve champion before in a division. So I've been surprised that he has not been placing for me. But yeah. Oh, and this, another one I was super duper shocked about is uh, Chanel. I ended up showing her and she was another one I was a little iffy on whether or not I should show her. 
but she got first and she actually placed over a Creo, whatever the name is, the, the Premier Cut model. She actually placed over one of those in the class and I was so shocked and just amazed that she did. She placed and I was like, oh my goodness, how did that happen? So I am beyond happy about that and I love this model. She is so gorgeous. And there's another picture of her and I, is there another picture? Yeah, and there's another picture of her. So I was super duper happy about that. This is not my model. This I just had to take. This is uh, Sister Le Bum or whatever his name is, the raffle model. Someone had him there. And they had to take a picture of him, of course, because he is really, really pretty. And then this is my little pony black hand guy. He's super cute, or she actually. Um, she is super adorable. I love her and I'm always happy when she plays it and she got a second so that was super duper cool. I'm so proud of her. And this is my S Just a Dream who plays second and that was another like wow. She plays second in the last show I showed her as too. And she has gotten a second before as well. I don't think she's ever gotten a first before but she has gotten a few seconds before. So yeah, I'm so proud of her. If I ever sold this mare one day, I could probably get a lot for her since she has been live show proven several times. But um, I do not plan to sell her. But yeah, I was super happy about that, that she plays so well. And then my cute, adorable little um, North Light resin. He got a first. He does, um, I think he got a first in the last show too. He's been doing super well for me, so I'm so, so proud of him as well. I adore this little guy so much. He is so darn cute. And so. Again, I was super happy that he got first. This is my uh, glossy charcoal major. He was my first charcoal model. I am in love with charcoals now. And I was super surprised that he was the only one in his class. He was in the charcoal class and there were no other models. In the last show I showed him out, there was like 10 other charcoal models. And so we didn't place the last show. And then I don't know why no one else brought any charcoal models, but Oh well, so he got a first from default. But oh well, he's so pretty, I'm so happy placed. This is blah, 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 Recovered Royalty. Another one I'm super happy that placed. Um, I wish he would've gotten a little higher, but um, that's okay. So he got a fourth in his class and I'm happy about that. Um, I love him so much, so I'm really glad he got placing at least. And yeah, I'm super out of him. And you can see, I think, is that a reverse Polaris, I think, that's over there? And that one got the second, I believe, in the class. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm really happy about him getting a place, a placing at least. And he's so gorgeous. This was the miniature horse class, and there were only three. And surprisingly, my little guy, right here on the left, got a first, and I was super excited about that. I was like, yay, you got a first. And I was surprised about that. I, I, I don't expect this little guy to place, but he's been placing for me. I think he got a third at the last show he went to. So yeah, I'm gonna keep showing him because he's placing a lot. And there's another picture of him so you can see him better. Or she, I'm sorry, it's actually a she. She is super pretty. And then this was the donkey class and there were only three people in it. Uh, my two models on the right and then someone showed their Tennessee Titan on the left that got first. My bridey got second, and then my little miniature donkey got third. This one, I was super, super shocked about this placing. This was in the collectability division. This is a, the Mustang I recently showed in a video. I just got him from a trade thing my, from my mom's friend. She got him in a trade thing, and then this was like, of course, let me have him and show him. And so I'm super, super happy and shocked that he got a third in his class. That is so awesome. I'm super duper proud of him. He is gorgeous. And you can see there, the um, you know, he's in a big, kind of a big class-ish against some other really pretty glossy models. So I was really, really happy with that placing. Oh, and then surprise, surprise, my little um, mini mini horse got a champion in the Briar other in the Briar other breeds. Thing, division, kind of an oddball division, and really small, but um, I'm still really shocked that um, she got a first. That was so cool. 
And actually, I don't know if I have a picture. Yes, there it is. I also have my zebra. I showed her and she got first because she was the only one in her class. I realized I actually have another zebra I could have shown and I forgot to, so I'm gonna make sure I show my other zebra in the next um, show I'm going to in a couple weeks because I forgot that I have another zebra to show, so now I can have two models in that class. But um, yeah, she always like shows by default unless she's in like thrown in the class as a bunch of other um, donkeys and other models or whatever, but yeah. Oh well, I'm really, really happy she is, um, I was able to show her and stuff. And then, so this was a guy I was surprised that didn't place in breed, but he did place in collectability. He got a third, so that was super cool. I was surprised though, um, he got a third and then my glossy Simba did not get any, anything in collectability. I don't know if I have a picture or not. No, I don't. But my glossy Simba was also in collectability and he did not place, but my glossy surprise model guy did place. So yeah, that was interesting. This is Caves of La Sox, or however you say it. I don't know how many were in her class. So there was, I think there must have been a couple in her class though. And so I was really happy and um, surprised that she got a first. And so that was super duper cool. I'm so happy about that. And then my Kimbia, he got a second. Another one I'm super duper happy about. I love my Kimbia. This is his first um, NAN card, actually. He has not NAN before. He got a third place at one show. Uh, and he didn't place at the last show I took him to. And so now he finally has a NAN card and a second place. So that is super awesome because I adore my Kimbia. He is definitely one of my top favorite models in my whole collection. This was the mini division that I judged. And so these are the callback models for the overall and it was so, so hard to pick a um, champion and reserve overall champion for these guys. They were all so gorgeous. It, that was what I found the hard, I found the hardest part about showing was doing the overall uh, champion, reserve champion. So if your model ever gets up to uh, this level, don't feel bad if you don't get the overall champion, reserve champion, because I'm sure a lot of other judges felt like I did where it was just so, so hard to pick which ones were like the top two because they're all just so gorgeous. But um, yeah, that's a picture of them. There are a lot of really pretty models that were in the of mini uh, classes. A lot of really pretty vintage ones and newer ones and a few really pretty Peter Stones, like all kinds of gorgeous models. Here, another one I was shocked about was my two unicorns. They have never placed before, except like um, my black one didn't place in a fun class before. But, um, so yeah, I was super happy that these two um, placed a fifth and a fourth in collectability. That was super awesome and I almost didn't bring them, so I'm really happy I did bring them because they did well and yeah, that was so, so awesome and exciting. Here is just uh, another picture of the mini division callbacks. I think my, did I take this or my dad? I don't know. My dad was taking some pictures too of just different things. So I don't know who took what now. And this is my little pony guy. And I don't know how many were in his class, but um, my little full guy, I mean. And I was so happy he got a first. I don't think he's ever gotten a first before. I'm not sure. I don't think he has though. So that was really exciting. Um, I actually wasn't there when he got his place and my mom was like doing it for me then because I was busy doing the judging stuff. But um, yeah, I was super happy he got a first and so that was really exciting and glad I brought him. Because he was another one I was a little iffy on whether or not I should actually bring him or not. And then here is uh, my, uh, what's his name, Baby Z, whatever. He got a third, as you can see, in one of the full classes. I don't know which one. I have to like, look back at my things here. Um, yeah, he got a third. And so that was really cool. Actually, not many, my fulls did not do really extremely well this time, because um, I rocked kind of a lot and only a couple, three of them placed. But um, yeah, that was still really cool. He got a third, and I think he was in kind of a big class. He must have been in, I'm not, I don't really know. Like I said, I was kind of, for the full division, I was actually busy doing the briar collectability, putting my models up for that, and then judging the end of the OF mini division, so I was kind of not really there for that part. Oh, and I guess that's it. And then um, there was one model that I apparently did not take a picture of, but he did place a fourth, 
And that was another one of, that was the um, Child Star, the little gray special run model that came with um, Stage Mom. He got a fourth in uh, one of the full classes. And I guess that must be it. Hopefully I didn't miss anybody. Because this is the first time that we're kind of doing a, um, we're writing down the placings and we're also taking pictures. Not me, I mean my mom, because she helped me out with this particular show a lot. Um, so we're like taking pictures of the models every time they place and then also writing down their thing. But um, yeah, that was all my placings. As, I did, as you can tell, I did really well. And a lot of my models placed, which was awesome. There was only a very small handful that did not place. And so that was really amazing. This is definitely one of the best uh, times I've shown really well for the traditional classic scale models in the division thing. I've done really well though with many divisions and other shows and stuff, but this is the first time I did like really, really well, I felt like in the um, OF prior thing. So yeah, that was super awesome. This show was great. I really hope they do it next year. It was a really great show. And so now I gotta figure out which models I'm gonna take to the next show, which is coming up soon. So you'll be seeing some videos about that and you know, all that fun stuff soon. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if it was a little bit too long or something. And um, yeah, happy, um, happy model horsey, horsiness day and stuff.